This is the second webcam birth for Riverside Hospital. The little girl weighed in at nine pounds, three ounces. Chad will get the chance to hold his baby daughter when he returns from Iraq in October. All right, 819 on this Wednesday morning. And for those of you who've been putting it off, it's time to finally get those taxes done. Today we're joined by Tammy Bright of Jackson Hewitt Tax Service. Some tips and common mistakes maybe that you fill out in your tax return and, and things you don't want to do, I guess. Uh, thank you for joining us. What are some of these common things, maybe deductions that I would miss if I'm going to do it on my own rather than uh, consulting an expert like yourself? Well, before we talk about the deductions that may be missed, I'm going to talk about a few of the common mistakes that a lot of taxpayers make. Um, the IRS reports numerous tax returns that are sent in not signed every year. If you're signing it, that's got to be easy. The easiest thing <laughs> ever. Um, and also, if the taxpayers are not able to file their tax return by April 17th deadline, then they should file an extension. Um, the biggest mistake here is that they file the extension, which is only an extension for time to file. That waives the 5% penalty for failure to file, but not the failure to uh, extension to pay. So they well, still okay. must so pay. So I need the to pay even if if I think I'm, I'm going to have to owe taxes. I'm going to have to pay and do that with my f filing an extension. Correct, or before April 17th. So if you estimate that you're going to, if you have a tax liability, you must pay that even though you're filing an extension to file your tax return. Which is kind of confusing because maybe I haven't done my return yet, so right. I don't know exactly how, how much. much. I got to guess a little bit here. Correct. Okay. Correct, right. but that will still prevent the five percent penalty for failure to file. What about uh, deductions? Maybe deductions. Um, <laughs> over two million Americans actually take the standard deduction when they should take when they should itemize. Sure, you would think that most people know that they sh they can take their mortgage interest or charitable contributions, but over one million fail to report their um, mortgage interest on their tax no return. Kidding. Oh, that's a, and that's big. That's a big one. <laughs> that can make a, a big difference. Uh, what else were we going to talk? We were talking about new credits. And you said, well, wait a second. Some of these don't go into effect until uh, the next until tax year. So correct. Uh, there was mention of the hybrid credit for the fuel efficiency, which is actually not a new credit, and it phases out in 2006. Um, there is an energy efficient credit that is going to be effective in 2006, up to $500, um, but that doesn't become into effect until 2006. You've got to be a little patient on gotta some of those patient. right now. Uh, I don't mean to go backwards too far, but let's pull up this graphic. This is some of the commonly missed deductions uh, that we were going to talk about uh, a little bit. And uh, employee business expenses, that's something when I'm working on my own or a part-time job? What is employee that? Employee business expenses would be any expenses you incurred from your employee. It could be that you purchase supplies. It could be mileage to and from one work location to another. It is subject to a 2% rule, but it is one that is missed a lot. People miss the child tax credit. Are you kidding me? Child tax credit. The child tax credit and also the additional child tax credit. The additional child tax credit is the unused portion of the child tax credit, which is missed a lot. All right. Yes. Hey, Tammy, we appreciate it. Tammy Jackson, or from Jackson Hewitt Tax Services, Tammy Bryant, thank you very much. For more info, you can contact Jackson Hewitt at 614, and here's the number, 436-1040, kind of like a tax form. Or you can log on to our website, columbusnewscenter.com, then click on news links. Jim Tressel and his staff, they're going back to school in a sense to stay ahead of the football curve. Straight ahead, Clay Hall going beyond the game with Ohio State Think Tank. First, it's severe.